You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I will sell you to hell herself! Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! You got your belly, coward? should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call the home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. Life, I will take yours! You are weak, like your father was weak!
To the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, Wolfkist. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy! Please, you do not want to do this. Leofred, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. <laughs> You can't win this, Leofrid. Even if you defeat me, the Rachnesons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. It was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. <laughs> Not bad for a heed. You cannot win! Yet. 
Fight me, heathen! to your god or your king i swore an oath to serve borgrin to the death i fought i lost we both know how this goes an honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war borgrin abandoned him betrayed his trust if i were leofrid i would want to know why rob him of this last glory a warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. You fought well, Leofred. With honor. You will go to your god as you are now. I am ready. We Norse have a name for men and women with courage like yours. Drenge. I name you one now. He didn't deserve this. He chose this. Come. We should get back. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. God is above us, of both Saxon and Dane alike. You slave of God, pathetic! You... The Saxon lover comes to fight. A miserable man you lead, Ruid. Yes, the one that has fled this country time to come us. Flee, Ruid, while Teddy restrains my blade. Not that I've taken all these shores have to offer. You are finished here, Ruid. Your battle is not yet won, Oswald. This anger will have its king, and it will not be you. That groveling worm in a cage? You must be blind to stand with such a man. For all your efforts, only the cold dark of the time awaits you. Well, Allah my destiny. That fate will not be met today. This land is rife with weakness, and you are just another blighted dog upon it. Nothing a little fire cannot burn. Thanes, fighting for a Saxon king! The Sagas will scorn this day! 
I will. They should be ruined, Wolfkist. Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this. Than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewers you wallow in. I will enjoy this. Why does a Dane fight tooth and nail for a Saxon? This Saxon of all. He has an abundance that which you do not. He is fit to rule, fit to lead. Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? He deserves death, Oswald. That's our way. Eivor, please! <laughs> blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. I should speak with Oswald, see if he's well. Words finished! Out of them plead as we were too is confident. Large I enough don't to suffer the same disease. I'll drown and burn every last man, woman, and child in this. Well, look here. So an Erdgen's lapdog. You stole it from Frankia! You lift a finger to aid your master! Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Boudicca was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick-and-mortar shithouse. 
So bright and beautiful set of flame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget the trigger, my old friend. Man at sea may have gold and glory, but he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia. Without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred'll be on his way. 
And you won't be alone. I'm sure others have worked with us against them. Hold him up there, to the top, and keep him breathing. Finish this quickly, Ivar. See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this...? The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. That is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But now, that is a song for the ages. <gasps> The fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death, you and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. For Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> The things a man must do, the trials one must face, the friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny, and become King Killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! <laughs> Ha! 
have you no sense of menace? When I stopped Guria, you winced. You cower in the face of sudden drama. be dead by now. Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim? Weeping tears of ice. Gone again! Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Eivor! Give it here! To Helheimer with you. Eivor! to take this fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stop there, Wolfkist. This ends now. 
Dak, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment, because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dak. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dak. No! We fight to the death! You spew nonsense, Dak. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! Dag, this does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will be quick. You've gone soft! Pathetic! Does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. You will not see what you do. There's no honor in this. What do you know of honor that Sigurd did not lose you? You suckle at his teeth and then leave him to die. You should have listened. You might have saved yourself. I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Please! Please, both of you! You could have waited. You could have come with me. You are a fool, Dag. You see why it has got me. Forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice. Lies with you. Is 
should not have come to this, old friend. Take this. Fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, you'll find it in the next. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unbalanced. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. You think on you often, Nag. I wonder what became of you. If anything remains of such a strong spirit. I do hope Sigurd knows how much he meant to you. We are beyond the time of telling such things now. You cower for me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Saver. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Are you afraid, Fulke? My cause is greater than you can comprehend. You are more like Sig. 
stronger than you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one. An Archon. Nephilim. Isu. Call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl. And you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell! Fulke! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. Sigurd, Eivor, I will, I, I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor, we delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! There's the chief. Now to strike him down. Have you come to join me, fallen? Oh. 
Senpo fight, Senpo death. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. <laughs> to Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood! And glory! Yeah! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, Long may you live and rule! Skull! Skull! <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years, you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farvid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, friend. You treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster, 
You always won. Because I let you win, my yard. So I will let you win. One last time. We will meet once more. In the corpse hall. Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. Let's tell her the good news. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron, stay your blade, or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Teftor is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A sea. 
Gears spinning, twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. Kunan is dead for your lies. Your wicker man will burn empty. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We're in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! Kunan was behind the attempt on your life. Modern brought you here. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith, then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. This is how I remember you. This is why I fight so well. This is not how I remember you.
Shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Seifor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand... How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's guard was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's god is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in lamb's wool. 
He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Dane, my brother served God. He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. Spill the eternal blood of Asala. At last, I share the death of the infinite battle with a true... Brother! Worry not, Aver. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. Just happened. Why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. Humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. You 
built the raven wine of battle to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. No. Fight me. Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I'm done with dreaming. Uh, uh, uh. 
Sigurd? Are you... Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor! Be careful! Vasim? What is this? Come closer, Eivor. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Vasim. For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him! Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. <laughs> ah! Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go! Kill that background! You must suffer a thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son! You speak nonsense, Basim. Forgiveness is impossible. We shared so much in England. Fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor. Into the wellspring of your memory. bones, and my conscience will be clear. Ugh. Ugh, damn! Let us make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Oh, 
Breaker. You die here. This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. Will you not die? Stand here. Stand by your hand. I will leave you here to die like a rotting fruit on a dying tree. You died once, and you will again. been planning this treachery, I dare not guess. Alfred! Face me, and I will spare the last of Wessex my torch! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst. <laughs> it does not matter if I die as long as Alfred is safe. Your life means so little. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me, then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force, or win her with cocksure words. 
we Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. <laughs> I will. same I've warned you well and look where it has led Savi stop Stay your ex Away, Loki. You swore an oath to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood. What? He is my son. Bastard! Dear, you've cared for this wolf. You will be his jailer. Take it to Lingby. Find it there. Make sure it never leaves the island. I can speak with the dwarf Ivaldi. May he find a more permanent solution. Come, boy. You're safe with me. Be kind, Justice Pringle. Loki, there will be a reckoning. Of this, I have no. survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buris Balsack! Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoover makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. 
I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You gutless worm! Slayer of my kin! Oathbreaker! Spirit taker! I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out! I built it to keep you in! You could slay my people without punishment or price! You and your slab had it done! Their lives to the price of their arrogance. But you do not control them! Control them? I only wish to survive them. Your bones will force the cornerstone of a new world ruled by Yonah! Your time has passed. There's no turning back in seasons. If your doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it! magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this, you dishonorable truth tangler? What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules, who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Lokistan must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. Harvey! There! See? The robber caught red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? 
I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Sutungar, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! You're not going anywhere, Ark. to suffer one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Are you done with my daughter? Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hidigan said to find her at Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutunga, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here, and now! You are out of favors, Trickster, and you are welcome to try. Why wait till Ragnarok, when you can die now? You meant to have me killed! I will never forgive that! When my son is from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard. No quarter this time, Loki! You have gone too far! You might be the strongest. But I was ever the quicker one! Let's see if you fight as well as you lie! I will... I will feed your corpse to Fenrir! Are you finished? Curse you, Harvey. 
Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! The roots of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close, gone, to who knows what mischief. I will not see him again soon. Pavi, you're a balm to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what? Do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the collar. Return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Be swift, Harvey. It burns! Harvey?
in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gold. Did you hear these words of prophecy?
know these things? This is the tale I tell myself, each night in the cold and dark, before I sleep and dream of tasting your flesh.
I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki. But I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Fight well with your offhand, as if born to it. Easier than expected. And how does the world look through a single eye? It keeps me alert, focused. You're strong as ever, Tyr. I'm glad for your swift recovery, buddy and Huga. What's done was bound to be. I bear no ill will to any here. Not you, not Fenrir, not even Loki. I'm not ready to forgive the trickster. Will you punish him? Not in this life. But he will not join us in immortality. The world we wake into will be free of his malice. If it must be so. <laughs> <laughs> 